Welcome. Today the church celebrates the memorial of St. John of the Cross, priest and doctor of the church. Our presider is Father Ron. Hear the word of the Lord, O nations. Declare it to the distant lands. Behold, our Savior will come. You need no longer fear. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. As we celebrate this feast in honor of John of the Cross, great Carmelite reformer, we ask that his message of mercy and forgiveness of God touches our hearts so that we too may be set free from our sins. Lord Jesus, you are the King of glory. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the Prince of Peace. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have, have mercy. mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Emmanuel, God with us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who gave the priest St. John of the Cross an outstanding dedication to perfect self-denial and love of the cross, grant that by imitating him closely at all times, we may come to contemplate eternally your glory. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of Numbers. When Balaam raised his eyes and saw Israel encamped, tribe by tribe, the Spirit of God came upon him, and he gave voice to his oracle. The utterance of Balaam, son of Beor, the utterance of a man whose eye is true, the utterance of one who hears what God says and knows what the Most High knows, of one who sees what the Almighty sees, enraptured and with eyes unveiled. How goodly are your tents, O Jacob, your encampment, O Israel. They are like gardens beside a stream, like the cedars planted by the Lord. His wells shall yield free-flowing waters. He shall have the sea within reach. His king shall rise higher, and his royalty shall be exalted. Then Balaam gave voice to his oracle. The utterance of Balaam, son of Beor, the utterance of the man whose eye is true, the utterance of one who hears what God says and knows what the Most High knows, of one who sees what the Almighty sees, enraptured and with eyes unveiled. I see him, though not now. I behold him, though not near. A star shall advance from Jacob, and a staff shall rise from Israel. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Teach me your ways, O Lord. Teach, Teach me, me your ways, ways, O Lord. Your ways, O Lord, make known to me. Teach me your paths. Guide me in your truth and teach me, for you are God, my Savior. Teach, Teach me, me your ways, ways, O Lord. Remember that your compassion, O Lord, and your kindness are from of old. In your kindness remember me, because of your goodness, O Lord. Teach, Teach me your ways, ways, O Lord. Good and upright is the Lord, thus he shows sinners the way. He guides the humble to justice, 
He teaches the humble his way. Teach me me your your ways, O Lord. Lord. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Show us, Lord, your love and grant us your salvation. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with with your your spirit. spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory Glory to you, O Lord. When Jesus had come into the temple area, the chief priests and the elders of the people approached him as he was teaching and said, by what authority are you doing these things? And who gave you this authority? Jesus said to them in reply, I shall ask you one question, and if you answer it for me, then I shall tell you by what authority I do these things. Where was John's baptism from? Was it of heavenly or of human origin? They discussed this among themselves and said, If we say of heavenly origin, he will say to us, then why do you not believe him? But if we say of human origin, we fear the crowd, for they all regard John as a prophet. So they said to Jesus in reply, we do not know. He himself said to them, neither shall I tell you by what authority I do these things. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise 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 to you, you, Lord Lord Jesus Jesus Christ. Christ. One of the central figures in our observance of Advent every year is John the Baptist, and he doesn't exactly appear but he's spoken of in today's gospel. Because the elders of the people, the chief priests, the leaders, uh, don't recognize John the Baptist as speaking on behalf of God. They don't recognize his authority, if you will, who, who has given him the right to speak this way. And if they don't recognize John, they're certainly not going to recognize Jesus for who he is. They are blinded from seeing who he really is. They don't hear what he is trying to teach them. It's the exact opposite of what we heard in today's first reading. When Balaam speaks because he has heard the word of the Lord, he hears what God hears, um, what God says. He knows what the Most High knows. He sees what the Almighty sees because he's in tune. Now, for someone to speak on behalf of God, and you don't need a title, you don't need an ordination, but to speak God's message to people, what you need to be is in touch with the Lord, to be of the same mind, to be of the same heart, to to speak what God speaks to us, a message of mercy, a message of compassion, a message of healing, a message of offering new life, the fullness of life that Jesus offers us. But the scribes and the Pharisees were unable to see. They were unable to hear what God has to offer. 
in the person of John the Baptist, and most importantly, in the person of Jesus. And throughout the Gospels, we hear this message over and over again. Uh, those who recognize Jesus, usually the poor, the needy, the down, downtrodden, the people who didn't count for much in society, as contrasted to those who were unable to recognize the Lord, those who were in positions of power, who were leaders among the people, for various reasons, their own ambitions, their pride, jealousy, whatever it might happen to be, it blinded them from recognizing Jesus and, by association, John the Baptist, who announced his coming. We pray that the Lord may be able to open our eyes, that we may truly see the Lord in our midst. We ask the Lord to open our ears that we truly may hear God's message as it comes to us throughout the circumstances of our lives. Not only when we are participating in Mass or reading the scriptures, but also in the encounter that we have with different people who can be instruments that God sends into our lives. But we will only hear them, we will only see them, if we are attuned to God's message. With trust and confidence, we come before the Lord who hears and answers all our needs. For those who utter words of wisdom among God's people, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, our, hear prayer. our prayer. For those who seek the knowledge of the Almighty, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For those who teach the ways of God to the young, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. <clears throat> for the sick and those who care for them, that they know the compassionate love of Jesus, especially Gabby Short, Deacon Rick Pomfrey, Pat Pascal, Brendan Mills, Alice Dernan Cassidy, Mary Dawkin, Neil Devlin, E. Grace, Barbara Tovar, Mike Whaley, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, our, hear prayer. our prayer. For all who have died, especially Jim Pascal, Rosa Maria Caprian, and all victims of war and violence, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. And for the petitions written in our book of petitions and all the intentions we hold faithfully in our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, our, hear prayer. our prayer. God of mercy and compassion, attune our ears and our hearts to recognize you as you speak to us and call us to serve you. We make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed, Blessed be God, God forever. forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this wine to offer. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed, Blessed be, be God, God forever. forever. And now let us pray that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God who is our Almighty Father. 
May the Lord accept this sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Look upon the sacrificial gifts we offer, Almighty God, in commemoration of St. John of the Cross, and that we who celebrate the mysteries of the Lord's Passion may imitate what we now enact through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift, we lift them, them up, up to, to the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is, is right, right and, and just. just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in the saints who consecrated themselves to Christ for the sake of the kingdom of heaven, it is right to celebrate the wonders of your providence by which you call human nature back to its original holiness and bring it to experience on this earth the gifts you promise in the new world to come. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the cup, and giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the cup of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for all for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, save us, Savior, Savior of the world. world. For by, by your cross and resurrection, resurrection you have, have set us free. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the offering of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you willed to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we, who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with St. John of the Cross, St. Patrick, St. John Eudes, and all the saints, on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, Advance the peace and salvation of all the world. 
Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis our Pope and Robert our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of your family. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. With longing for the kingdom which Jesus promised, we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And And with with your your spirit. spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you You take take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Come, O Lord, visit us in peace, that we may rejoice before you with a blameless heart. an act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. 
I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Let us pray. O God, who in St. John have wonderfully made known the mystery of the cross, graciously grant that drawing strength from this sacrifice, we may cling faithfully to Christ and labor in the church for the salvation of all. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. May Almighty God bless us, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God.